So you're thinking about moving to Dallas, Texas with your family and you are looking for the best schools to send your children. Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to share with you all of the best schools in Dallas, Texas, including elementary, middle, high schools, but as well as Montessori's, colleges, and even private and charter schools, lots of options for you and your family. So you don't wanna miss this. Let's dive into it right now. Hey everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video every week. Now in this video, I am so excited to share with you about schools in Dallas, Texas, because we help people like you every day moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area from different states all over the country. People like you message us, text us, email us every day and give us a call asking for help moving from every state down here to the great state of Texas. So we're excited to help people like you and um, your families move here and understand what it's like living in Texas. So in this video, I'm gonna show you schools in Dallas, Texas, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and share my screen because I have some really cool resources that I wanna share with you. So in every one of our videos, we post links to uh, greatschools.org as well as niche.com. And these are two of our favorite resources to use as we are exploring different areas around the Dallas-Fort Worth area and creating videos. So it's also a great resource for you as you are diving into schools. Um, now, I will say first and foremost, Dallas and Texas schools in general, public schools are phenomenal. So um, definitely compared to other states, Texas public schools rank much higher. So you can find a great education for, for your students without having to pay um, tuition at private schools. Now. If you do want private schools, we do have those options as well. And I'm going to walk you through all of the top rated schools in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So first and foremost, I'm gonna dive right into K through 12. So what's cool on greatschools.org is that you can come in here and you can choose your city. So we're gonna dive into Dallas, Texas, and this is just gonna focus us in on Dallas proper. And when I say Dallas proper, like we're gonna look at it on the map. This is Dallas proper right here, okay? So these areas around Dallas, and this is Dallas County specifically, um, Irving uh, is part of Dallas County. Um, these are the schools that kind of fall into the Dallas district. Um, you will see other schools and other, other places like out here in Irving, um, Capel, Grapevine, South Lake, Hollyville. These are all great schools as well and great districts. Um, but in this search and what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to focus in on just the Dallas schools. Okay, so let's dive right in. So first of all, this is the list of 920 total schools that are available here in the Dallas area. Now, um, obviously there are certain schools that are specific to certain specialties. So um, this is not filtering for just public, this is filtering for private schools. And in some of those private schools, you're gonna see things that are um, like School of Business and Management, Young Women's Leadership School. Um, you might see some other things, School of Science and Engineering. So these are all going to be specific schools that help students with things just outside of academics, maybe um, more into trades, more into specific career paths. Um, and they start from different age groups. So these are all high schools. You can see this one actually has a sixth through 12th grade program, Young Women's Leadership School. So you can check out these. Um, this is a great resource if you're looking at different areas in Dallas, but you're not quite sure which specific area or city location you want to, you want to find a home in. Um, what we can do, and this is a, a very specific search that we can set up for you is we can actually find homes that are in specific school districts. So I'm going to toggle this and I'm going to take off private schools here. Um, and I'm going to take off charter schools as well because charter schools wouldn't apply. And I'm just going to keep it to public district schools. Um, and then we're going to come here by district name. 
So here you can see um, the district. This is a public district. Um, you're going to see the difference in school ratings as we go around here. So Valley Ranch has really top rated schools. Um, that's going to be the same for Capel, Farmers Branch, Carrollton. Um, as you come out here, you can see school rate ratings in Dallas are going to be a little bit lower, right? Like you've got these inner city schools that are really going to have bigger student to teacher ratios. Um, so this is all public school right here. The way that greater, greatschools.org ranks these schools, this one is above average. If it's a seven or above, it's above average. Um, if you click right here on this information icon, you can see five to six indicates average and anything below four is gonna be below average. Let's say you're looking for public schools, okay? And you're looking for specific districts or specific public schools that you wanna send your kids to. It's really important that you don't just find a home that's like right next door to it, right? And say like, oh good, my student's gonna go to that school. As you can see, there's multiple schools in some of these areas. And just because, so these are both elementary and middle school, but let's just say you had two middle schools next door to each other or not too far away from each other. Well, it doesn't really guarantee that your student is gonna go to that specific school. Sometimes it's it's a kind of a weird thing where the districts are divided very differently. So you could have like a weird line in between and you're, even though you might be, live closer to one school, you, your child might actually be designated to another school. So um, just keep that in mind, okay? so. As we're coming through this, I mean, this is a really honest look at what Dallas schools look like. And we're talking about Dallas, right? The city of Dallas. You can see this big um, circle, circular way that Dallas is set up um, with all the highways that go around it. And what you're gonna find is that Dallas public schools, um, as a whole, Dallas-Fort Worth has fantastic public schooling. Um, the Dallas County um, struggles a little bit more just because of the number of students per teacher ratio. Um, but of course, you can still find above average schools in this district. Now, I'm gonna change this to private schools because you have a lot of really great private schools in Dallas and they're not, they're not rated on this website, but you can see how the, the actual concentration of private schools is pretty high. Like that's a lot of options for your private schools around here. And a lot of your private schools are going to run, like this one runs first through 12, um, pre-K through eighth grade. Um, this one is just a pre-K school. So it, there's a lot of opportunities for your students. First Baptist is a pre-K to 12th grade. Um, you've got you know, the Hockaday School, which is all grades as well. And those are great schools. So, so this is kind of why I wanted to show you this resource is you can dive deeper into the schools and actually get some really good information, especially about the public schools on this website. But now let's say we want to go down and we want to see, OK, let's dive deeper into what the best schools are. OK, so these are the 2022 best schools in Dallas. And now you're going to see that there's a lot more private schools that are coming up here. St. Mark's School of Texas is one of the top private schools. Um, so we're just going to click on that. And I'm going to show you what this is all about. So overall niche.com grade is an A plus and they are A plus in academics, teachers, clubs, activities, college prep and great in sports and diversity. Like you can get really deep into this, this information. Okay. So St. Mark's School of Texas is top rated. It's all boys. So it's a Christian school located here in Dallas, Texas. It has 863 students and their grades are from first through 12. Their student to teacher ratio is nine to one, or sorry, st yeah, student to teacher ratio, nine to one. Tuition for this school, $30,000, okay? So $30,000, that is quite the um, tuition, um, but you'll find that a lot of the private schools in this area range around that, okay? Now, this is one of the best, and I shouldn't say one, it is the number one best high school for STEM uh, science, technology, engineering, math, um, best private high school in Texas and the best college prep private high school in Texas. So we're talking the top school is located right here in Dallas, Texas for your boys. Um, now there are similar schools and I want to come down here and I want to show you, um, what this is all about. So similar schools to St. Mark's. So you're going to have the Green Hill school, which is in Addison, the Episcopal school, which is in Dallas. 
Um, you also have Cistercian, which is in Irving. It's really not too far from Dallas either, um, really close to the uh, University of Dallas campus. And then you have Jesuit as well. So these are all private um, boys' schools. Um, lots of them are located around Dallas or Addison. And then of course you have Prestonwood Christian Academy, which is in Plano. Look at these ratings, all A plus ratings, okay? Um, what I love about this website too, is that you can see actual reviews. So um, you can come in here and you can see what people have rated it. 56 excellence, 10 very good. Um, you can actually see what people are saying about it. So I'm currently a middle school student. I've gone to schools in different states and even different continents and St. Mark's is by far the best school. Um, now these students are phenomenal. So you can see this is a middle school student actually commenting and sharing how he feels about the school. That's pretty amazing um, for a student that was five months ago. Um, and there's, you know, there's, there's reviews that are constantly being updated, but I think overall, what I what I also want to emphasize is that you should always look at the map, right? Look to see where it is going to be in comparison to maybe where you're looking at living. Um, look at what your commute might be like if you're having to drop your student off at a private school compared to um, where you're going to be living. So I like this because it's a nice little interactive map. So you can see St. Mark's is located right here near University Park. Um, this is in the heart of Dallas, really um, right off, you know, 75, um, 635 is right here. Some really cool stuff around here. You've got North Park, um, North Park Mall, this University Park area, Highland Park area is really um, phenomenal as well. This is where you can find Southern Methodist University. SMU is located around here. So this is gonna be a pretty prominent area, right? You're gonna send your kids to school in one of the best areas in Dallas, Texas, if you send them there. So you've seen the map, you've seen how that is. Um, what I also love about this website is that not only can you, so you see all of these awesome things about the school, but you can also check out what it's like living in the area. So let's say you're looking for a home right now and you actually are looking for an area near your kid's school. We get this all the time. So if you are looking for a specific school, um, don't worry, we have your back. Just let us know and we can actually set your parameters and your searches and we can make connections with the right people in the area that you're looking so that we can find you that perfect home. All right, no market is is gonna out <laughs> is gonna make 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 you out of your area that you want to be in. Okay, so Median household income in this area is about 174,000 um, and you're going to look at a medium home value of about a million. Okay, so this is the this is the University Park area, so Preston Hollow area. So this is a pretty prominent area of of Dallas and what I love even more is that you can come in here and you can actually dive deeper. So niche.com offers some really great insight into what it's like living in these areas. And you can see here, it gives you this whole map. Dallas uh, Love Field Airport is located right here. This is the Southwest hub. So you fly Southwest Airlines. This is the hub you'd be coming into if you fly private. Um, that would be the hub. So Preston Hollow neighborhood in Dallas, population of about 14,000. Um, public schools here you can see are about a B minus, but if you're looking at that private school there, maybe that's you know a great place that you wanna send your kids. It's about a B plus, good for families. So what we know about Preston Hollow, about living in Dallas, you're actually living in the city. So this is something to keep in mind. You're gonna get, as it says here, a lot of bars, restaurants, coffee shops. There are plenty of parks. Um, but I would say if you're looking at moving to Preston Hollow, you're looking for that zip code, right? You're looking for the prominence of Dallas. So um, this is definitely a great resource for you as you look into um, what what you're really where you're really trying to move. Um, it is ranked a great great, right? I would say 33 is fantastic for best neighborhoods to raise a family in Dallas. Like it's. it's safe. Um, definitely, if you're looking at a, at a neighborhood that is up and coming, that is, you know, always going to be that kind of like staple and heart of the city, this is definitely it. And you can find a lot of really great things in the city. Um, so if you like that, the hustle and the bustle of living in, in proper Dallas, then this might be for you. Now, let's say your kids cannot go to the school um, or you are looking to move somewhere else. 
um, around Dallas? Well, let's keep looking because I think there's some really great opportunities for you even outside of the Dallas proper area. So here we've got All Saints Catholic School. This is a fantastic school as well. Um, and this is near Plano, um, near Allen, the Colony, Hebron, Carrollton. Um, you know, if you are looking out into McKinney, maybe you're looking and moving to Wiley. Um, we get a lot of people who are looking at, um, let's come out here a little bit, Roy City, Rockwall, um, Heath. There are, these schools, Forney, these are all amazing public schools. And I kind of just, I don't wanna get off topic here because I know we're supposed to be talking about Dallas schools, um, but I do wanna show you that it is possible, right? Let's just look at all schools. Let's do public schools. And then let's look at, um, okay, awesome. So you can see now that your public school ratings have gone up. And they're all going to be, you know, pretty much average or above average around here. Um, and this is just, you know, Heath. This is um, this is going to be your Rockwall district, I believe. Yeah, Rockwall Heath High School. Um, you're going to see fantastic schools out here, elementary schools. This is a good example of what I was telling you about earlier, right? So. You've got two elementary schools that are pretty close to each other. Now, sometimes what you'll find out in these parts where there are new community builds, like bigger communities that have um, their own schools within those communities, is that you'll notice um, they actually have a school embedded within all of the homes. So if you're looking at these master planned communities out here in Heath, Rockwall, um, you know, Roy City, these areas, then that's what you're going to find is you might find two elementary schools close by to each other because they're embedded in these neighborhoods. So keep that in mind as you're looking for schools. You know, like I said, just because you live close by to this school doesn't mean that the district is really saying that your kid's going to go to that school. So be sure to check with your real estate agent. We can look at the actual description of the property and make sure that it is the district that you're hoping for or that school and we can do some research and get calling around. Okay, um, I got off topic. So let's go back here to Dallas. Um, and now I'm gonna show you um, the top schools in Dallas. Okay, so we're back here. Um, St. Mark's is a fantastic school. Now we're looking at public high schools, school for the, uh, the talented and gifted. Now, this is a really um, incredible school, Dallas Independent School District. So not all of the public schools in Dallas, you know, were rated, um, you know, under our average. Um, this one is a is a top school. It's a magnet school. So um, this has a 409 students from ninth to 12th grade grade with a ratio of 17 to one. Um, this is a is a great school just because of the this right here. Look at these academics. So you've got 1,400 average SAT score. That's higher than what I'm seeing for a lot of the private schools around Dallas as well. Um, and then look at these schools that they're going to. Um, you know, these are these are definitely um, some of your um, Ivy League schools that they're getting they're getting um, accepted into. You know, Rice University is right there in Houston. Um, SMU is down the street in Dallas, Texas. As I said. Um, close by to the Highland Park University Park area, um, UT Austin prominent. UTD is a great school and it's actually um, just nearby here. Um, it's right off of um, Highway 114 and um, near Loop 12 in Irving. Um, it's a you know, great campus, really, really tucked away and really nice for those students looking to get something a little bit more um, you know, private. Um, definitely reminds me this, these campuses, um, I would say the UD Dal Dallas the UD uh, campus reminds me a little bit of the um, campuses in California that are like in Southern California that are kind of like tucked away and you kind of have to drive up to the entrances. It's kind of nice. Um, but as far as, you know, this school goes, you can also look at living in the area. Um, it's, it's in the Heights, that's what it's called. Um, so you're going to see a lot more of like the medium home value being a lot less right? Um, cost of living obviously is pretty good, but the area itself is going to be in a little bit, um, you know, in a little bit of a different area. 
Now, um, you can also see different schools that are like this school down here. If you come down to similar schools, um, these are great because it'll share with you. They're all in Dallas Independent School District, all great schools, right? Ninth through 12th grade, um, and they are specialty schools. So this one, you've got the High School for Performing and Visual Arts, Business of um, business and Management. There's a Law Magnet School, as well as a Science and Engineering School. So. Like I said, there's a lot of opportunities for your students if you're looking for something a little bit more specific into a specific career path. All right, let's head back to this list. The Green Hill School, number two best private school in Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is in Addison, Texas. So I'm just gonna click into that so I can show you where Addison is because it's in a great place. So Addison itself is located just above 635. So when we were looking at the other school, it was located right around here in, um, you know, here's 635, 75, like I said, SMU, um, this is Highland Park, University Park. The other school was here. Addison is up here, okay? So what I love about Addison is there's so much to do and it is a really fantastic neighborhood that is just so nearby to Dallas. Like you're just outside of Dallas. Now keep in mind this traffic here off 635 getting to 75, it does get kind of bad. So if you're looking at living in the area, I would recommend definitely looking at, you know, this area up here. Um, you know, this isn't going to be too bad for you either, depending on your budget. Um, like we said, I think the median home prices around here were about a million dollars. So Keep that in mind. Now, of course, these are private schools. So you're gonna get people from all over the Metroplex coming to Green Hill School. Now, likely you will get a lot more people coming from the Northern parts of the Metroplex. So if we look at the map here, quite bigger, you've got Dallas here. Um, and then you've got, uh, this is Louisville, Denton, Frisco, McKinney. This is North, okay? So these, all of the this area right here is kind of like prime. Now Frisco, it's hard to find homes right now, um, just price points and homes are going fast. Um, but McKinney, we've got a lot of clients who are looking at McKinney, um, like I said, Rockwall, um, and then out here, you know, you're gonna get a little bit more into the rural parts of Dallas, but they're definitely opportunities for you. Okay, let's go back now and you've also got the Hockaday School so this is um, now you can you can see there's a lot of girl and boy all schools here in Dallas if they're private schools so um, the Hockaday School is for girls and this is a, a pre-k and then k through 12 as well um, you also have Sturgeon, which is an all boys school and then um, all of these are really this is an all boys school Carroll Senior High School. This is awesome. So this is the number three best public high school in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now I'm gonna click into Carroll because this is an area that we haven't looked at yet, um, but it's in Carroll Independent School District. Now this is one of the higher ranking schools for sports for sure, um, but also just look at their test scores. 98% of students are at least proficient in math, 99% are reading. Um, their student teacher ratio is 14 to one. Um, fantastic, really. I mean, you can't ask for anything better, I think. Now, Carroll is going to be out here. So if we're looking at the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you're going to get Dallas out here, right? And that's going to be, um, I'm just going to open up the map a little bit more so that you can see. So this is east, right? So you've got Louisiana over here. So Dallas is to your east, Fort Worth is to your west. Always keep that in mind, okay? So as you're looking at the map here, when you're going west from Dallas, you're gonna hit uh, kind of northwest. You're gonna go to Irving and then you're up 114, you're gonna hit um, South Lake and Carroll. Now Carroll Independent School District, this is a fantastic school district. I would say one of the top rated, it's right next to Grapevine Lake. This is a really popular area as well. A lot of our um, clients are looking um, in this area, like here's Bartonville, Double Oak, um, Argyle is up here as well. A lot of our clients love this area. Now, if they keep going outside, you know, Carrollton, Carroll, like Hazlitt area is really popular too. Um, but I mean, this is, you know, something to keep in mind is that there are so many opportunities. And when you're looking at, you know, Carroll High School is one of the top rated schools in Dallas. Now I'm just going to click on public school for a second so we can look at these as well. But 
Um, we've got Fort Worth, we've got Jasper High School. Now this one's interesting because I want to show you Jasper. So like I said, you're gonna find a lot of interesting areas in Dallas. Now the, the important part is if schools are important to you and you're not looking at private, you're looking at public, then you know definitely narrow down on the school districts this is part of plano independent school district it's one of the top school districts in the in the area but plano is going to be a bit pricier so as you're looking for schools like jasper here um, you're going to see that it's located just off of um, the dallas north tollway and 121. now there's a really these are really cool areas right like this is allen frisco we have a we have some um this is Prosper. So we have some great videos you can go out, go and check out. We've got some videos around Prosper, Frisco, Plano. Um, we can see all there is to do and see the colony. Um, some really cool places that are just growing and expanding. We were actually just looking at a new development in Frisco, new hotel, um, new, new uh, music factory coming there. There's just so much really expanding and growing into these areas because just in the last five to 10 years, they've really started expanding out. In fact, this whole road to Prosper is brand new. Like when you drive down this road, it's amazing to see how much new construction is out here and the homes that are out here. If you haven't checked out our Prosper video, I highly recommend you do that. Um, but if you're looking here in the in you know the Plano area, then you you have a lot of options. I mean the the high schools, the you know the, the elementary schools, they're all really great. Now you're going to see a lot of high schools here. Capel High School is another big one. Um, Capel School District is one of the top in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We have a lot of clients who are really itching to get into Capel. Now it's a really small community, so it is kind of hard to find homes in that area right now, but it's possible. So, um, you know, if you're looking to move to a specific school district, it's really important that we start looking as early as possible so that we can get as many options um, available to you as possible. We can start looking at different properties. I think this is the most interesting thing here. So I'm going to click on most diverse. Um, now here in niche.com, you can actually, you can actually change your layout to see, um, by different filters and depending on what you're looking for. I know like a lot of people are looking for STEM programs. Um, you can see which ones really rank the highest for STEM and you're going to find it's a lot of the similar schools that are like just ranking high in general. Lovejoy ISD is another top school district in Dallas Fort Worth that we've heard. Um, Frisco Independent School District Liberty High School. So you're going to see a lot of repeating themes here, but um, I hope this gave you a really good insight into what is available right now and you know what it looks like to find schools in these areas right so if we're looking at dallas fort worth you're looking at schools in dallas texas you're probably going to be looking more at the private schools if you're looking at living in dallas texas but if you are looking outside of the dallas area and you're really open to being more remote or being more um i shouldn't say remote i should say more rural these areas are fantastic and have really great schools. Um, you know, the, the Rockwall, Fate, um, the Lovejoy School um, is, is around here. Um, you've got McKinney. All of these are going to offer you great private school opportunities. Um, and they're just really, you know, it's really convenient for you if you're not looking to spend money on tuition, but you want your child to have a great education. Um, now, one thing I didn't touch on much was the Montessori's. Now, um, so you'll see here Country Day Montessori School. Uh, Montessori's are really popular around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, there's not a lot of information here, but if we go into, so um, this is just an example. I will, let's see if we can find one here. So um, let's do, the schools and then um, we're going to look specifically in the Dallas, Texas. 
Um, so we might be able to find a couple of Montessori's around here. Let's see if we can find one. George, this is the one I was trying to find. So if you're looking at the Dallas Independent School District, this is a, a pre-K through eighth grade school. Um, it is called the George Ban Bannerman Dealey Montessori. Now Montessori's are great because they are known for teaching beyond um, really just beyond academics, right? It's uh, kind of like an IB program, which our style schools have a lot of IB programs as well. Um, but they really do focus on um, teaching students beyond, right? And that's usually what you want to see. Now the cost, um, there is a cost for Montessori, so you definitely want to check those out before, you know, just dedicating to a school. Um, but you can also see all the reviews here. There's about three reviews on this school, and it really is um, one of the top rated schools here in, in the Dallas Independent School District. All right, um, I will leave you on this final map, and I'm going to open up the Montessori Academy of Arlington just to show you on this map um, the opportunities. So again, like you can see Arlington is kind of a little bit beyond, but the midpoint, Dallas and Fort Worth, you have so many opportunities when you're thinking about schools in Dallas. And and if you are looking at, you know, whether you're looking at over here in Azol or Springtown, we just did some videos around Springtown, um, or you're looking out here into the rock wall and, and um, you know, Plano, Murphy, Allen area, like it doesn't matter where you go in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you're gonna find schools that are top in not just Texas, but in the nation. And so as you're thinking about, you know, where are you going to send your kids to school? How is this going to affect the rest of their life? Also be conscious of the fact that there are so many great public um, Texas colleges and universities as well. And with Texas schools, um, there's a lot of benefits to your kids, especially in high school, applying to in-state schools. Um, everything from free tuition to just better opportunities. So um, even, you know, being so close to, you know, UD, SMU, out here in Denton, you have UNT, University of North Texas. Um, you also have University of Texas at Arlington. Now, so many students have so many opportunities to not just get that education and go on to a, one of these universities, but they may also have the opportunity to take classes before they graduate from high school. Um, definitely have opportunities for summer programs, you know, whether they're in athletics, um, different sports. Uh, a lot of these universities offer summer programs for kids. So if you're looking to make your way out here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I would say my last and final thing I would say that is such a benefit to that is unlimited opportunity for your students to get additional resources and additional um, performance like enhancement right whether it's academics whether it's sports they're getting opportunities to attend college level um, classes college level college level summer programs so it's definitely an area that you want to be um, thinking about and if you're thinking about moving to Texas then um, you know I thank you for watching this video I hope that you will find a school district and that you will find the schools to your liking but don't forget if you need help tracking down a school of your preference and you're looking for a home in the Dallas Fort Worth area then be sure to give us a call or um, contact our team to schedule a call so that we can help you and your family make a smooth move to Texas.